Hi, this is Gali Gopar and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about apple cider vinegar and whether it is good for you or not. For centuries, apple cider vinegar has been used in cooking and as a popular home remedy. The ancient Greeks treated their wounds with it while Greek physician Hippocrates recommended it as a treatment for colds, sore throats and coughs. Historically, it has been used for many different ailments, including obesity, plague, and high blood pressure, while ancient Roman soldiers used apple cider vinegar as, uh, with, with water as a refreshing drink. In the past couple of years, the popularity of apple cider vinegar has been steadily growing. So if you haven't already tried, you are probably contemplating trying some of the recommendations that you've come across. So here is my intake on apple cider vinegar. But before I expand on its usage and the pros and cons, let's establish what exactly is apple cider vinegar. Well, apple cider vinegar is mostly apple juice with an added yeast which turns the sugar in, into uh, alcohol inside the juice. And this process is called fermentation and it produces the so-called uh, mother, uh, uh, which is a combination of yeast and bacteria formed on the surface of the yeast, which is packed with probiotics. However, apple cider vinegar can be distilled and uh, which uh, makes it clear looking without the mother so to speak and it may be the one that you're most familiar with it's the one that's most sold in shops regardless of the type it doesn't have to be refrigerated and it can last for a long time outside your uh, your refrigerator as for nutrition it contains uh, zero calories uh, per tablespoon no carbohydrates fats uh, fiber or protein now let's look at the facts well, um, apple cider vinegar is considered beneficial for a few things. Let's go over them and see whether they are really beneficial for these. The first one is weight loss. It is believed that drinking a small glass of apple cider vinegar before eating leads to weight loss. And there is some evidence to back this up. For example, one uh, Japanese study compared a group of people who drank uh, apple cider vinegar to people who did not drink it uh, and watch them over the course of 12 weeks and at the end of the study the researchers found that the group who drank the apple cider vinegar lost more weight compared to the placebo group however this and other studies on the subject do not provide compelling reliable research for weight loss because study groups are small and studies are short term furthermore science shows that when acetate is consumed the body tends to use it as an energy source before any other energy source, including fat and sugar. So that is something that you want to consider. The second benefit that uh, apple cider vinegar is known uh, to be helpful for is reducing cholesterol. Two studies, one from 2012 and another from 2018, found that consuming apple cider vinegar could help reduce total cholesterol, triglycerides, and LDL cholesterol. The study also showed that it doesn't take long to take this effect. However, one of the functions of the liver is to break down cholesterol. And if the liver is not working probably, properly, it will uh, lead to cholesterol buildup in the body. And the liver becomes irritated when we consume uh, vinegar consumption regularly. It has even been described that the liver becomes pickled like uh, pickled cucumbers uh, when we consume too much vinegar. So that is another thing to consider. Also regarding uh, heart disease risks, apple cider vinegar is high in alpha linoleic acid which has been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease for in women. But on the other hand, vinegar has been reported to cause or worsen low potassium levels for people who suffer from this and it's particularly important for people taking medications that lower potassium, such as diuretics uh, used to treat high blood pressure. Also, apple cider vinegar is considered uh, beneficial for improving blood sugar levels. Since the first study, which was done in 1995, several studies have shown that apple cider vinegar uh, significantly reduces blood sugar levels and influences the glycemic response, which is particularly important for people suffering from type 2 diabetes. Also, the American Diabetes Association has reviewed these research studies and concluded that apple cider vinegar 
can significantly improve insulin sensitivity after meals. But on the other hand, other studies show that vinegar alters insulin levels and that people with diabetes should be particularly cautious about high vinegar content in their diet. Let's talk about the other risks. Since apple cider vinegar is acidic, it is recommended to be diluted with water to avoid uh, tooth erosion. Otherwise, vinegar can damage tooth enamel, also harm your throat and upset your stomach when sipped straight from the glass. Consuming it as a component of vinaigrette, which is a salad dressing, is a slightly better way to consume it. On the other hand, vinegar can be great as a natural cleaning material for dentures. Undiluted vinegar does not leave any re residue on the dentures that may enter the body. It is very good as a cleaning agent for dentures. dentures. Also, because of its high acidity, vinegar may lower bone density because of the buffering effects bones have on blood acid levels by releasing calcium carbonate from the bones, making the bones more brittle. So what's the takeaway? To conclude, there are some benefits to consuming apple cider vinegar. However, I certainly do not recommend rec regular consumption of apple cider vinegar as a treatment for anything, except perhaps as a topical treatment for external ap application to skin wounds, warts, and nail fungus because of vinegar's antifungal properties, which are good against nail fungus and great for cleaning dentures, as I said. Apple cider vinegar is definitely the best vinegar out of all the other vinegars. And if you really like the taste, you may add it to your salad dressings, but definitely not on a regular basis. And I do recommend consuming uh, freshly squeezed uh, lemon juice instead on your salad dressing. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope it was helpful. If you like this content, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button for notifications every time I upload a new video. Please also visit my website, thegorillediet.com, for anything to help you improve your health and wellness and get you to a better level. Thank you very much for joining.